up. I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Oh my god, my neck just cracked. Did you guys hear that? <sighs> Goodbye. Okay, listen to me, okay? You take the bottom of the cupcake, you whip it off! And then you put it on the top, and you make a little cupcake hamburger. And then you just eat it like a hamburger. It's so efficient. I don't know why more people don't do it. It should just be the norm. <sighs> Anyways. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, d discuss it if you wanted. Mm. This one's cute. This one's cute. I can't wait for her to threaten to kill me. <laughs> Yo. That's so good. Woo! Here we go! When that happens, don't forget to save your game! Huh? <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Let's let's do an extra save for safety. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right. Let's load in. Atmospheric enhancements. You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. <laughs> Basic got scared. I, I feel like Basic is doing the smart thing, honestly, because it feels like we're about to suffer. <laughs> I planned to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Oh my god. In before, are they going to do like a test run? Are they going to be like, let's test out if, if, this, if these atmospheric elements work by covering the windows and lighting some candles? <laughs> Like, is it sexy or a cult ritual? I don't know. <laughs> it could be both. Okay, I need I need wine to bolster my defenses. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yudi. This ritual shit. Didn't realize you were a cultist. I guys, I can't get. Look at her. I love the way, the way they're like like nervously playing with her hair. Mmm. Mmm. Cute. Cute. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, sorry. Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> I still don't know how to do her laugh. <laughs> I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desire. This is sounding more and more like a cult ritual. You know, casually summoning a demon. Exactly. While flirting, you can multitask. You can flirt and summon a demon. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Everything cute comes with a price, it's true. The knife is strangely beautiful. If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. All right. The thing is... <laughs> can't do this <laughs> straight face. I can do it. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Please don't think I'm weird for this. I don't think you're weird. I just think you might be a yandere. But we've been calling that since last stream, so I'm not really surprised anymore. Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Ying, it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin <laughs> like it's paper. They're toying with us! The writers are just messing with us! 
a small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Man, we are. This is, it's officially a ritual. We are here. We have arrived. <laughs> Yuri takes my hand and gives Luwun a closer look. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh, ah. <laughs> Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Do I have to read this out loud? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her <laughs> next finger. He's good. This MC is really good. There's no way he like doesn't know, you know? Like when you take another person's hand and you lick their finger, that's like one of the sexiest things you can do to a human. I bet, I would bet money on that. I could just, just imagining it, you know? I'd be like, yeah, I guess if someone took my hand, Oh. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri, quickly unrolling her sleeve, putting it back over her arm. Blood ritual. This is a cult. This is a cult. This is a cult. This is a cult. Ah, uh, your face! There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, and then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. I may be a little weak. <laughs> Look at her! The way her hair like, like elegantly like loops over her shoulder and the, the way it softly, the front part like cascades over the front and the turtleneck. You know what else is weak? Whatever paint they're using. It's true, Hazy Days, you're right! <laughs> Oh, she closed her eyes. Okay. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. More. <laughs> it feels really nice. <laughs> this is why I can't be a voice actor again. <laughs> I'm just gonna crack up in the middle of all my sessions. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, you're very thoughtful, Ying. Yudi takes a step closer to me, then briefly oh. squeezes my hand. Whoa! You're very close up and pixelated, girl. Stay back. I don't like seeing you that pixelated. Why can't I count the pixel? I can count. I can see. You can see the pixels. One, two, three, four, five. There's more than 30, give up. <laughs> I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S Sayuri? Eh? Ah. Uh... It's okay, Ying. I just stopped by to say hi. I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Yeah, I would be embarrassed if I got kind of pixelated in front of the camera, too. Why am I feeling this way, Ying? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. Monica was what? Oh! I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Ying, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. I should write a poem about this. Sayori! Sayori will always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Hmm. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Ying! You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. 
Yeah, she overslept again. Buddy, no. You should have checked on her. That dummy. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Ying. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. I probably know a lot more than you think. Is Monica an AI? Guys, is Monica an AI? Huh. Okay. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yudi's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. It's Monica. It's Monica. It's Monica. It's Monica. Ing? What's wrong? Oh, you know what's wrong, bitch. I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori, so... Uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. They're gonna, they're gonna put us through the same fucking... Waking her up in her own house. You're not gonna wake her up, buddy. You're not gonna wake her up. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. Quang, quang. There's no response. Content warnings, y'all. I'm giving you all 10 seconds. I don't know what we're gonna see, but I'm counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. What the hell? If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this! I just... lost my best friend. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something di- Actually- No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. And now, I can never take it back. Never, 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 never. Uh, um, can I even click this? Oh my god, the distortion in the music. The distortion in the music. Oh no! No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we're being reset. We got it's different, it's different, it's different, we're on a different timeline. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. Yeah, Sayuri has been erased. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Ying? Huh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 that gave me chills! That gave me chills! I got chills! Okay, it's been a while, right? We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that, I actually quit the debate club. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Every time that happens, I feel like I've been fucking Pavlov. I've been conditioned to like shake. 
I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. So, I ran into Ying in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? So, Ying, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Manga... I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. Ugh, I hate horror. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't say it out loud and give it back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no, you wouldn't like them. I just realized I haven't saved. Ha, 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 they're empty. They're empty. They're empty. They're empty. Yum deep. Yum. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. Objection! Then why did you kill one of them? Hmm. Bitch. Oh, you have unlocked a special poem. Yeah, let's read it. I feel a, I fr frankly, I feel a little bit cheated. I mean, I guess they're right. Anime girls are poetry, so. Even if they're diced up, I guess... I guess they're still poetry. We're still going for beauty, so, um... Despise. Unrequited. Rose. Agonizing. Disaster. Fear. Nightgown. Ah, fuck! Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Huh? You won't see the end of it. No. I can't even, you're in front. She's in front of the box, I can't read it. Is it just me? Or is the classroom a little bit tilted? Wait, portrait of Markov? Hold on. I wanted to look this up last time because I know what a Markov chain is. Does this game have anything to do with probability theory? Portrait of Markov is not a real book, but Markov is a person like Andre Markov. Markov processes. Wait, hold on. Recursive- <gasps> That's where it is! A Markov chain! Recursion! Oh my god, this game is recursive? This game is recursive. It's not looping, it's recursive. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. <laughs> wait, 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 what did it say? What did it say? What did it say? It wasn't in the history. Why was it? What did she say? Wait, 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 okay, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I realized something when I was in the bathroom, which is that this game would really suck to play alone. And you can like my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Let's get suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member. Maybe you're just jealous that Ying appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. The girls are fighting over a boy. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. 
Me? Look who's talking. You want to be all oh, edgy, bitch. Oh, edgy. Well, be careful. You might cut yourself on the edgy. Oh, my bad. You already get, you already do, don't you? Ying. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. They didn't talk about cutting themselves last time. That's not true. She started it. Hey, girl. You come here often? Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only Ted I see. Please don't hurt me. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? I can't even confront my own team members, Poapoui. Oh, club members, Poapoui. You couldn't sleep for a week after playing this? Maybe playing this game was a mistake. I'm sorry. Maybe playing this game was a mistake. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh. Oh, she's cute when she's crying. I don't usually like it when the girls cry. I like it when the boys cry. Oh, I like it when the boys cry. Ying, please don't hate me. Please, I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Ying. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. Oh! I looked at chat for a split second, and then I came back and it was glitching out. What happened? Hmm. Disoriented. Empty. Judgment. Infinite. Depression. Incongruent. Extraordinary. Oh, shit. Another day passes. It's time for the club meeting already. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yudi's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little bit. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? I was also kind of wondering where she was. No, I haven't. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Wanna be edgy, bitch? Natsuki, about yesterday. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. I just wanted to apologize. Yudi, what the heck are you talking about? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. But, but... <gasps> Continue. I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. I don't hate you. The only thing about you is how hard you try. Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. I didn't mean to be late. What took you so long anyway? You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. You should play something for us sometime. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Ooh, she didn't say this last time. I look forward to it. Is that so? So, in that case, I won't let you down, Ying. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. Ying. I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Oh, we're doing the repetitive thing again. Let's go. She walks with me, sets the kettle down. She's moving. So much surprise that she moves with the country of speaking manners. Never long, less duty, pretty elegant and methodical. Okay, with the country of speaking manners. Mrs. Okay, may have the water pitcher. Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. I won't stay long. Teacher and pitcher in hand. Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. Oh, it's different. It's different. Hmm. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. The nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha 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 ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. I don't. I don't want to see this. 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 Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. I think we're about to see something. So here's your content warning. Watch out, take care of yourselves. Okay, you guys ready? Five, four. Ah, 
There it is. Kya. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Let's continue. Okay, it might get smudges on the pages. I didn't even think of that. My bad, no need to apologize. I'll hold the book. Are you sure? Of course. Same graphic as last time. Face stream? What do you mean? Oh shit. Sorry. I forgot we were on a break. It's just a face cam stream, guys. I am the content. Look, I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. Some parts of us are completely natural. It means I can't stop here. Prince of the chocolate in her mouth. You need to close her lips over it. Eh? Ying. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. Ying. It's dark. My heart. I can't calm down. Can you feel it, Ying? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I just want to look at you. <sighs> um, it's time to share poems. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Let's go to Natsuki first. I'm kind of scared of Yudi right now. I mean, it's like, I think she likes you. <laughs> I know how much time you've been spending with Yudi. It's obvious you care more about oppressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Why are you even in this club, Ying? Please go away. Uh, I guess Yudi next. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yudi stares at the poem with a surprised expression on your face. Do you like it? This one might be even better than yesterday's. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem, too. Okay? Oh, this is new. It's very long. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. That is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I just really like the way that it writes. A little bit sus, and now you're touching it. It's a little bit of a creepy smile. Let's continue. Ying, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Um, what do you mean? It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yudi. When Yudi gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? I think she just gets some kind of high from it. Monica, I hate you. And I, I don't use that word lightly. Monica, I hate you. I don't like you. I really don't like you, Monica. Please. You're a psychopath. Or not human. You're a virus. Monica, you're a virus. You want to read my poem now? Save me. Do the loose letters form something? I don't think so because they're all vowels. Delete her. Save me, delete her. No. Not you. Ha! Ha! The fuck was that? The fuck was that? No! Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult situation. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. I just got full body fucking goosebumps. Please help me. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Knowing how this went last time, not really. Oh, you have unlocked a special poem. Yeah, let's read it. But yes. I like when Papa leaves my stuff alone. I like when Papa is too tired to notice me. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Okay. I'm going to assume that this is Natsuki given the structure. Okay, everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? Oh, I should save again. Let's look at the background. What was the background? What do you mean the background? Is it different? Oh my fucking god, the background. Hello there. Oh no. How long has I been there? Oh my fucking god, it's specifically that scene too. Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Ying joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. Oh, that was definitely Natsuki. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I'm sure Yuri and Ying want to get more members too. 
right? Um, Natsuki's right, isn't she? It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? Ying, why did you even join this club? If I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. At least for a little bit of time, things were nice. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki ignores Yudi and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Ha! Huh! Who cares about that obnoxious brat? But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibility. Oh my god. Maybe I will sleep with the lights on tonight. <laughs> well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. I'm going to chat a little bit with Ying before we leave. I'm scared of you, Monica. I'm scared of you. Okay. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and Yudi being a little bit, you know. Right. Because that's what you're doing. It's about alienating just the main character. Oh, bitch. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. But it's weird. Because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you would understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No, stop it. Okay, um, we're gonna continue going for Yudi. Crimson, Destiny, Defeat, Vitality, Universe. Did you guys see that? No, no, no. Oh, my camera's on top. You guys didn't see it. You guys didn't see it. Only I saw it. No. Oh, fuck. Only I saw that. Was it Monica? 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 Am I imagining things? Okay. Disaster, landscape, death. What's this? It's Sayori, it's Sayori, it's Sayori, it's Sayori, it's Sayori, it's Sayori. Oh. Hey Sayori, how's it hanging? Nin, don't! No! Oh. I'm hitting the big RNG tonight, really? Were those like things that only show up sometimes? Oh wow, I'm really gonna need a sleep call tonight.